Hi, this video is about how to create two dimensional array in LabVIEW and fill this array uh, by random numbers. Okay. So here, uh, let's uh, let me run the demo. Uh, this is the front panel, and on the back side, it is a uh, block diagram. I will go over a black diagram after I run the demo here. Okay. So let me go here. Um, so this one uh, will decide the number of columns. So let's say I want to uh, create four column wide array, and then I want to create uh, five rows of it. Okay. So once you um, this one will select the number of columns that you want to set. Uh, this one select the number of rows that you want to set, and then once you run it, um, I just click run button here, and it will create uh, as four column as you can see here. So these are the four columns here, and then uh, five rows here. Okay, now once you uh, do that, um, there is also another functionality that you can do. You can find out the maximum value out of this array, 2D array, um, and then uh, find out its uh, maximum index six as well. Then you can also find the minimum value of this array and the uh, minimum uh, value indexes. So, for example, here uh, as you can see, maximum value is 10. So um, its index is uh, this is a row. So row will be one. Um, the counting is base uh, zero base. So this is the uh, row zero. This is the row one here. Uh, this one. So row one and column number two. So zero one two. So that's what it shows number ten. And if you look at the the minimum value, minimum value is here, right? So it should be zero one two. 3 0 1 2 3 4 so that shows the row number 4 and column number 0 1 2 and 3 and that's what it shows here okay so that's the maximum value and minimum value out of this uh, two dimension array so let me uh, go over how this works um, so this is the block diagram so there are two for loops I use um, the inner for loop it is used to create the 1d array and once you and that will uh, create the number of columns and that for loop is inside the another for loop uh, that create the number of rows okay so and uh, after that uh, this 2d array will be created and based on uh, this data it is going to here uh, this will uh, built in um, uh, array functionality it will help you uh, to determine the maximum value, maximum indexes, minimum value, and minimum indexes. Okay, uh, so if I start from beginning, uh, this is the inner for loop. Uh, this is a random number. You can find out uh, when you right click on this one. Um, you can go in uh, numeric, and then there is in the mathematics, uh, you can find this uh, random number here. Okay, so that's the uh, random number. That's what I'm I'm using here, and then I'm multiplying by ten. So, because random number will um, generate, uh, let me pin this one. Okay, uh, let me close that. So, random number it will generate uh, any number between zero to one. Then, to get some integer value, uh, I am multiplying by ten, and then I am uh, making it near. Uh, I am removing the decimal point by using the this functionality. If you want to find out, uh, you can use the context help here. So let's type, uh, I say show context help and it will open this uh, window here, small window and then you can uh, click on that one and it will tell you the functionality, what that help. Um, so it will tell you uh, what this uh, function do. This function is kind of uh, around to nearest, whatever number you give to input, uh, whatever number you will give input, it will make it nearest integer value. Okay, so that's that function. Um, and then uh, this based on number of column it will create the 1d array here okay and that 1d array um, it is again in the second for loop and that data will go here and after uh, iteration of uh, number of rows it will it will start from 0 to row number minus 1 see so if i give the row is equal to 5 it will start from 0 1 2 3 and 4 and then it will stop okay so uh, basically its count is based on zero base not it don't start with the one so uh, then it will create this 2d array 
and uh, once that 2D array uh, it is uh, going here in this one so if you again if you go show context how and if you double click on the thing here it will say array maximum and minimum so you supply the array input and it will it will tell you the maximum value of that array what is the indexes a minimum value and minimum indexes okay and that's what um, uh, is shown here okay uh, so let me run the demo again uh, let's say this time I want to create um, only three rows and I want to create uh, six seven columns here okay and then I just uh, run one time and as you can see it created the seven uh, uh, column here that is the one DRA and then uh, that is for the inside for loop and then this 2 array is coming from the outer for loop and um, it created a three rows so as you can see here now uh, again maximum value is 9 here so you can see uh, count is based on 0 1 again 0 and 1 so it is showing 1 1 here and the minimum value is uh, let's say 1 so 1 is here at 0 0 okay so that's how you create the 2D array in the lab view. Mm, I hope you like this video. If you like it, subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching. Okay, bye.